Hello and welcome to this uh, session. The purpose uh, for today is to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel to update and uh, create uh, new purchase order uh, lines. This functionality was introduced in uh, Oracle Business Suite release uh, 12.2 and can be used uh, not only for uh, PO lines level but also for uh, PO schedules and also for distribution. I will log in now to my Oracle Business Suite instance. For this um, short demo I will uh, use as a responsibility uh, purchasing vision UK and I will go to bio work center orders. I already prepared a um, purchase order for this uh, explanation and I am just opening to take a look to this and you can see if we go to line level that currently we have two lines with different quantity and amount and to start uh, the use of Microsoft Excel for uh, updating and adding a new line to this PO I will uh, just uh, go to action select the update with Excel and press go button this will, this will start to download the template for this uh, purchase order in Excel format I uh, have installed on my computer so I will select Excel 2013 I am prompted to save the file so, and when the file is saved I need just to click to open it and based on your Excel uh, configuration you may be uh, requested to enable the, the macro I just uh, click on and based on configuration you have uh, network settings and also uh, your environment uh, performance this may take a few seconds or more when download is complete you'll uh, receive a confirmation message and you can close the window okay so now we have the template open you'll see that we have uh, some uh, fields under uh, with the ba uh, gray background so these are not uh, editable fields and then you can see also that we have um, different section we have the the batch head the batch details for this uh, upload also we have the header information for the PO as I said they are on a under uh, uh, they are not editable they are freezed and also we have the, the line um, details also the uh, schedule part with uh, all the details and also the distribution level here with uh, GL account and so just to remind you this is uh, uh, just a template used to update the PO having all these um, uh, three levels in one file so you have the line level the schedule level and also distribution in one uh, in one uh, template let me start so what I will do I will create just a new line as you can see all the fields that um, have the under uh, the column name have the value list dash text and this means that these uh, columns are linked to some value sets uh, in fact these value sets are similar with what you see in the e-business suite itself okay i will select the value i will provide the description line 3 and then go to next uh, field so again for category i will select a different category let me select product, product monitor I will uh, okay let me put 15 unit of measure I will search for each unit of measure I'll provide the price 
okay so just to make sure the price is is uh, based on your uh, uh, PO currency so in our case is GBP okay I will move forward need by date I will provide a need by date let me select January end of January you see also that uh, the date based columns they have the same look and feel as in Oracle Business Suite and now we have reached the schedule part I provide here only the number I will keep the default value for ship to location and ship to organization I will not provide the quantity because this will be inherited from the line level I will provide also the distribution number I select the destination type type in this case you can see that we have a drop down list to select these values because these are only the values available it's not a big list and then I will move forward to the GL account part so I'm double click I will double click here and I have the accounting flex accounting flex field uh, coming up I will select uh, just uh, some values and let me move to the next uh, to the next uh, and select the computer and software and then press select so and also we see that this uh, selection is a valid one what you can see is that the screens for the uh, pop-up uh, windows are quite similar with what we have in Oracle Business Suite so currently what I have done I have uh, created a new line so you see that is marked as flagged and also I will uh, do a small change to um, uh, line 2 so I will uh, change the price so let me decrease the price for the line 2 and also for first line I will increase the quantity mm -hmm. I put 8 what you have to know if you change the quantity at line level you should um, either change it to schedule level or uh, keep it blank and also distribution level okay so just so to summarize before to upload we have changed uh, existing lines and add a new line for existing lines for one we have changed the price and for one other we change the quantity okay let's move to the next step so when we have um, completed our change we may uh, uh, upload these changes so you should see uh, in your excel you have a new menu enabled the oracle one and you have this um, option display so if i will click on upload I uh, always in case you want to upload only the changed uh, lines or only the ones you have added you can just click the flag rows in in my particular case I can leave all rows because I have changed all the rows but I prefer to have more control and then uh, upload only the flagged rows then I keep the defaults for validate before upload so I use the standard validation before the data is sent to interface and then I uh, also want that, sy that system to submit the uh, import for me from interface table to the standard uh, purchasing table so I'll click upload okay so what we can see as uh, a confirmation we have that uh, the confirmation that three rows were successfully uploaded and also we, we have a concurrent request which was uh, submitted to move the data in fact to try to move the data from interface to uh, standard tables if we move back to Excel you see here you have another option to monitor this so you see that your request is here is completed and uh, uh, the status is normal in case you want to use this uh, later this um, template in um, offline mode you can do this you can 
just save it on your uh, PC and just make sure when you save it uh, you keep the default so uh, type Excel macro enable workbook because otherwise you'll not be able to use it PO 366 and you can use it later to do mm, some changes and then to push it back I will close for now and move back to eBusiness Suite to sell. Okay, let's see what uh, happened here. Um, you have the option to see all the um, Excel uh, import status and also with uh, the details. Okay, if you go to here, you'll see that um, uh, you have the full history about all the uh, Excel changes you have submitted using this functionality. So based on the status you, you can click on details for each particular uh, upload you can see what information were uh, sent to your business suite and also the status if we okay let's go back to see what uh, happened to our PO okay if we click again on the number we should see now the line line details so what happened here we can see that uh, we have a new line edit and also we have the the price change for the line too and also the quantity what is important uh, be not before to submit your uh, PO for approval is to check also the same details if the same details are synchronized with the schedule so in regard to quantity and also the price for the lines you have changed because for the new line uh, you see that uh, the values are inherited automatically in regard to quantity and price and also same uh, you have to check on distribution level so for now uh, seems that uh, our upload uh, was successful this was my uh, objective for uh, this session and I hope you will find it uh, useful just to remind you uh, this functionality is available also to update um, lines schedule and distribution and based on each level when you download the template in Excel you'll see uh, for each section you have uh, more detailed uh, fields available and you can uh, use it based on your needs and based on you know your business requirement thank you for following me and uh, see you soon